Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Business Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on basic named reactions. Today we are going to deal with a very well known named reaction that is nothing but a Riemer Thiemann reaction. Now let us go through the topic. So that is the Riemer Thiemann reaction. So the Riemer Thiemann reaction simply it is nothing but a, a formulation of phenols. Simply it is nothing but so the formulation of phenols. Formulation of phenol. Phenols treated with a chloroform in presence of alkali that is nothing but either KOH or NaOH KOH or NaOH at 60 degrees centigrade temperature simply it is known as a Riemer Thiemann reaction simply it is known as a Riemer Thiemann reaction so now here it is the like a phenol we know that the structure of a phenol OH group which is attached to the benzene it is nothing but phenol so the phenol treated with chloroform the formula of uh, chloroform is CHCl3 trichloromethane in the presence of uh, like a KOH or NaOH it leads to the like a formulation at R the position formulation at R the position simply it is known as a phenol treated with chloroform in presence of KOH or NaOH at 60 degrees centigrade temperature it gives the ortho formyl phenol simply it is named as salicylaldehyde salicylaldehyde that is called a salicylaldehyde phenol treated with chloroform in presence of KOH or NaOH it gives the salicylaldehyde this is the basic definition regarding to the Riemer Thiemann reaction. But now I will go through the very complete concept of Riemer Thiemann reaction. That's why, so the phenol treated with chloroform in presence of KOH or NaOH, it gives ortho and para formulated product. Ortho and para formulated product. So the para formulation is very minute uh, product. Uh, so, but uh, ortho formulation is major product and that's why simply ortho product is major simply it is ortho product is major so this is the reaction okay now here phenols are treated with chloroform in presence of koh it gives the ortho and para formyl groups simply it is known as riemer thiemann reaction so not only phenols some heterocyclic compounds are also produces the this type of chloroforms this type of like a koh or in the presence of naoh so it produces the like a NHCHO. So that is the formal group insertion. Okay. Or exceptionally, it it, it produces the these type of uh, like abnormal products also. Okay. So the complete mechanism regarding to the second one. So that uh, heterocyclic compound Riemer Thiemann reaction. Again, some of the applications we will discuss the next video. Now, today we are going, going to deal with uh, a complete mechanism of a uh, Riemer Thiemann reaction. Complete mechanism of Riemer Thiemann reaction in this video. Now, let's move on to the complete mechanism. So, this is very uh, easy and uh, useful reaction for uh, ITJE as well as uh, meat aspirants. Okay. Now, Let's move on to the mechanism. Okay, so here we use the chloroform. So this is the CH Cl Cl Cl. It is more electronegative atom. So that is the chloroform. So when chloroform treated with KOH or NaOH, simply we'll take the NaOH. So that is the common base. Na plus OH minus. We'll abstract. We'll abstract the proton and creates the and send the uh, CH bonded to two electrons so towards carbon atom towards a carbon atom so carbon getting the two electrons that is in the form of a negative charge Cl 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 two electrons means a pair of electron so here the bonded two electrons shifted towards the carbon atom that's why it getting the negative charge it getting the negative charge now so carbon and having the some leaving groups, the more leaving groups are present. So whenever one of the leaving group leave it from the carbon ion, so it leads to the formation of a carbene. Okay. Now here one of the chloride is eliminated. One of the chloride is left. Okay. Now here one of the chloride group is leave, uh, eliminated from the like a carbon ion. So here chlorine eliminated as a chloride ion. Why? Because it it eliminated along with pair of electrons. That's why it is a Cl minus. Here getting the positive charge. Positive negative is neutral. So C a pair of electrons with two chlorines. Simply it is called as dichlorocarbene. 
So it formation of the carbon intermediate that is called as dichlorocarbene. So this is the reactive intermediate in Riemann-Thiemann reaction. Reactive intermediate in Riemann-Thiemann reaction. Now let's move on to the further steps in Riemann-Thiemann reaction. This is the first step. Now let's let's discuss the like further steps in Riemann-Thiemann reaction. Now let's move on to the like a uh, heterocyclic. This is the second step. So this is the phenol. So the phenol is acidic in nature. So phenols are acidic in nature. So this phenol will be treated with the NaOH or KOH. Na plus OH minus. That OH minus it acts as a base, will abstract the proton from phenol and it creates the negative charge on oxygen. Phenol oxygen, it is a negative charge. Those negative charges surrounded by the cations. Those negative charges surrounded by the cations. Simply it is called as a phenoxide ion. Phenoxide ion. So the phenoxide ion more reactive than that of the phenol. Why? Because so phenoxide ion can participate in the resonance formation. So here it can participate in the resonance formation. But phenol cannot participate in that much of speed of the resonance. Okay. So that's why phenoxide ion more reactive than the phenol. So that's why phenoxide ion participated in the reaction mechanism in Raymond Hammond reaction. So now the third step. So this is the phenoxide ion. So those phenoxide ion will shifted will participated in the like a conjugation now it produces the like a alpha carbonyl alpha carbonyl so this is the alpha carbonyl so the alpha carbonyl carbonyls are nucleophiles those nucleophiles will treat it with a, an electrophile that is the electrophile carbon is a neutral electrophile it is a neutral electronically deficient electrophile so those negative charge will shift it towards the carbon atom and it creates the a single bond new cc single bond so here it creates the a new CC single bond between the like alpha carbon and the dichlorocarbene. Alpha carbon and the dichlorocarbene. Listen carefully. Here these negative charge will, will form the new CC single bond between the alpha and the dichlorocarbene. Now the bed of electrons from carbon from dichlorocarbene will appear as a negative. Will appear as a negative. Again, here it having the one more hydrogen. Here it having the one more hydrogen. So the position of a hydrogen is alpha. So alpha carbonyl compound, alpha CH in the carbonyl compound that is more acidic in nature. So that's why the negative charge will abstract the more acidic proton and it creates the negative charge and it creates the negative charge. So here double bond, double bond, O minus. Here it is the CHCl. Here it is the CHCl. Here it is the negative charge. So those negative charges again participated in the like a tautomerization. Now it gives the this type of a product, this type of a stable product. O minus CH. Cl, Cl. Why it is stable? So in the previous case here it is the loss of aromaticity but here it gets the their own stabilized aromaticity. It gets the their stable aromaticity. So that's why it is more stable compound. Okay now here it it, it appears as a like a phenoxide phenoxide anion phenoxide anion so again which is treated with a sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide so one of the oh minus will replaces the chlorine atom like excess of oh excess of naoh is used so the second mole also replaces the another atom it creates the a di dihydroxyl group on the methyl so oh oh o minus na plus o minus Na plus. So here it is the CHOH, CHOH functionality is there. So CHOH, CHOH. So that is nothing but. Um, so here it is the CHOH, CHOH. Something R group is there. So two hydroxyl group and same carbon that is very unstable. Two hydroxyl group and same carbon that is very unstable. It it uh, lost their water molecule at a, a room temperature uh, a little bit higher than the room temperature. So here it lost their water molecule. Okay, now here it is the or C double bond OH. Okay, at the time it produces the carbonyl compound. If hydrogen is there, then it forms the aldehyde. If carbon is there, then it forms the like a uh, ketone. Any carbon derivatives are there, then it forms the ketone. Okay, now here it is the like aldehyde formation step. So this is the formylation step. So here it is the C double bond OH O minus Na plus O minus Na plus. Then finally it is in the form of salt. But now we need a, a complete compound. But here it is appears as a salt. So here it is the O minus and Na plus in the presence of H plus. 
it is appears oh ch ch o oh ch ch o simply it is called as salicylaldehyde salicylaldehyde just look at the complete mechanism x one one more time i think it is very clear Okay, now let's move on to the one second repetition. Okay, so in the first step, trichlorocarbene, sorry, trichloromethane, we treated with a base, it forms the carbonyl. So the loss of uh, Cl minus, uh, the, the loss of one of the living, living group, uh, it forms the dichlorocarbene. So this is the reactive intermediate. Many of the previous year questions, they are susceptible to these type of questions. What is the intermediate in remote hyman reaction? Definitely it is the dichlorocarbene, not the phenoxide ion. Okay, it is more reactive one, but it is the most uh, like a reactive intermediate. Uh, more that is, Dichlorocarbene is the reactive intermediate. Okay, now in the second step, uh, phenol treated with uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, it forms the corresponding phenoxide base, corresponding phenoxide uh, cation. Okay, now here these O minus will participate in the resonance. That's why it is more stable. That's why it is more stable than that of the phenol. Okay, negative nucleophiles more stable than that of the neutral. So these O minus will participate in the resonance and it creates the carbonyl and it creates the carbonyl. So those carbonyl will attack over the electrophile that is a neutral deficient electrophile. So that is the dichlorocarbene. Whenever it shifted towards the dichlorocarbene and it forms the carbonyl. Okay, now here it forms the new CC single bond. So those pair of electron will appear as a minus. Will appear as minus. So those negative will abstract the proton from more acidic one. Okay, now it is the carbonyl compound. Carbonyl compound adjacent position is called as the alpha. So those alpha CH group is more acidic in nature. So that's why carbonyl will abstract the proton. Then it uh, forms as a CH and it creates the negative charge. So those negative charge again it forms the like a, a tautomerization. It gives the O minus and Na plus. Here it is the CHCl Cl. So that is the dichlorocarbene dichloro methane derivative okay so those dichloro derivative will treat it with a sodium hydroxide and it forms the like a chOH chOH two hydroxyl groups on the same atom two hydroxyl groups on the same atom it is very unstable so that's why heating reaction will will dehydrated dehydrated it produces the carbonyl compound it produces the carbonyl compound almost all overall reaction is uh, over before one step now here o minus and na plus so o minus na plus that means it is it is in the form of salt so salt form that that salt form can treat it with water or it is hydrolyzed it gives the oh cho that is the our overall product that is the our overall product I think it is very helpful and very easier me mechanism regarding to the Raymond Hyman reaction. So in further in next video, I'll upload the some of the applications regarding to the Raymond Hyman reaction as well as the heterocyclic Raymond Hyman reaction and uh, some of the exceptional and abnormal products in the Raymond Hyman reaction we will discuss. Okay, again selectivity of Raymond Hyman reaction is also discussed. That is the like if one one like one of the any any one, any one of the group, uh, any one of the other position is protected. Any one of the other position, it having the substituent. Uh, then it it treated with the chloroform in KOH. It gives the para product as a measure. So this is the these type of uh, like some exception exceptions uh, and applications are there. So those applications are discussed in the next video. I think it is very helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.